it's not, I will not implement this law, or no government will not implement this. We have to have a decision by the good people, and therefore own up to our own responsibility. Uh, and uh, I'm not saying that every referenda are always good. I mean, I think there are areas that I would not want to see referenda be used, for example, on human rights issues and things like that. But on this issue where we were, so basically I was saying, we should have um, uh, a, a referendum where we say, we accept this package, this was actually a year ago, to almost today, um, we are, where we should accept this package, which is uh, a difficult package, it's a haircut with the debt, makes it more sustainable, and also at the same time some difficult decisions with further cuts, but that will allow us to remain <coughs> within, side, within the European uh, Union Eurozone, the Euro, and take us out of this crisis, or let's reject the package and most likely leave the Euro with all its consequences. That was the dilemma I was facing, that was the dilemma the government was facing, and that was the dilemma the country was facing. And I felt that at that point we had to make the decision that we had to be democratic. Now, the reaction that I had to the referendum was, was uh, twofold. One was inside the country. I think a lot of the opposition felt who were, who were coming out, the, the leaders that were saying, I represent the people and we have this, as you said, you know, we, the doctor that was giving, the other doctors that were giving all kinds of other solutions, which I believe did not exist, you know, it sounded very good. And they were calling for elections. And I said, we don't, we don't want elections. We want a referendum. We want, it's very different to have elections where you say, I will choose another leader who has a different prescription. And I said, this is the dilemma, and the Greek people have to decide. If we went to elections, then everybody would say, I have a paradise, which is, or I have a much easier way. I can, I'll just give you aspirin, so I'll just give you this medicine, and the cancer will go away. Well, it wasn't that, sens that simple. So I wanted a referendum. Uh, the second was, of course, that outside in the European Union, uh, the criticism I had, even though I had informed the leaders, was that you are upsetting the markets. And I told them, of course, in, 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 in time, which was the meeting that we had before the G20, I'll tell you about that in just a second. Um, uh, they said that the markets are jittering. So I said the markets are, are, were jittering the last two years, a year and a half. We have to end this. And it will take a month. Uh, after that, there will be a decision. And once that decision is taken, then we can tell the markets and the partners and the Greek people, this is it. We're moving on this direction. In or out. But I believe we would have we won. Now, the French finance minister, or, who wrote his memoirs, I, would, I mean, I respect him in every way. But he said that Barack Obama was at this meeting. He wasn't. So obviously he wasn't at the meeting either. So um, I, I, he, so I, I, I would take what he said with a grain of salt. But yes, you are right that uh, I was, I was uh, very much. Uh, I think this is this shows some of the problems we have in Europe. That Europe, Europe is still a project of the political elite, even though it has had support by the people of Europe for many, many years and for many for, for generations, uh, and it's been a if you like, a, 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 a dream for, for centuries. Um, but I think we may have to make it a project for other people much more, much more of this. And uh, uh, the idea that uh, the, the um, leaders, some of the leaders in, in Europe were against the referendum because the, uh, the people didn't really, we were jeopardizing something that people would make a good decision. And the markets were there pushing us, I think, was the wrong, the wrong approach. Um, just finally, on the, on, the third, on the other question on my mental state, uh, it's, it's, I, I think I'm sure Jamil will, will, will also. Have. It's it's a very difficult, very difficult to go. Uh, you know that you know these are difficult, painful decisions. I uh, sitting in my office, particularly in the Parliament, which is right. You must have seen the Sindema Square, the, uh, where all the demonstrations took or take place, and uh, of course, uh, you know. I, I could hear this day in, day out. At the same time, I had to sit there, you know, and pace back and forth and make the decision in the end of what was good or bad for what I thought was good or bad for the country. It was not, it's not a simple thing. It's, 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 but then you have to, at some point, say, well, you have to be, find the strength inside you and say, as a doctor, I, have to say. I don't always like to use the doctor thing because that hadn't been used in the past for, by other regimes, but uh, um, uh, you have to make make a decision and it's your responsibility and, uh, and you have to live with it. Uh, I think everybody has their ways to cope and one way 
that I would cope with me was to, uh, uh, to uh, make sure that I would go and swim in the Aegean Sea. Uh, and that was always very uh, rejuvenating. Or taking a kayak and, and, and then for, 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 for you know, half an hour, an hour, or something like that. Uh, sometimes that was always sometimes seen by a lot of blogs as, uh, what is he doing? <laughs> what is this guy doing? But I always, I always said that you know, if you don't have some mental and physical uh, clarity and, and, and health, you're, you're making the worst decisions. So in a sense, you also have to take care of yourself in these crisis moments, because otherwise you can make, make wrong decisions. Now, would I have changed some of these decisions, as uh, my dear friend uh, in Greece said earlier? Um, well, when you, go, when you look back, uh, you do these sort of Monday morning, what is it in the US, quarterback? Obviously, you can look at things from a very different point of view. Uh, but when somebody throws you the ball, or you've got to throw the ball on, on the field in that one second, you don't have the luxury to sit back and look you know, uh, hours on end to see what the move will be. Uh, so you have to make those decisions you know, very quickly sometimes, and, and the best way you think you, think, you think you should do it. So yes, of course, if I had the, the, the time, and luxury to go back. There are lots of things I think that uh, I, I might want, would have wanted to, to, to see differently. For example, try to convince my partners in the European Union that less than austerity we needed reform. I told them that from the very beginning. But uh, then the orthodoxy of you know, austerity came in. Uh, and, and, and if I may have been able to convince them that it is more time, uh, that would have meant more money, of course. And, and less austerity, so that uh, the pain was not so much on austerity, but on reform, because reform is painful too, uh, but that would have been looking much more at the deeper causes, and, and really not to the tip of the iceberg. Uh, but I think that is what hopefully now we will get in Greece, uh, a little more time. Uh, the next week we'll have some crucial votes in Greece in the parliament for the getting the, the further help and bailout. And if we get past this um, this hill, uh, this or, 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 or mountain or whatever, uh, it's uh, I do hope and, and we stabilize in the European Union because there are questions within the European Union. This is not a Greek problem. It is we had a problem. It's a European problem, a eurozone problem. If we can also take the necessary decisions there, uh, I do hope that uh, we'll be able to hump and, and moving forward. Chris, why do you want to